Did you know that a faulty mass airflow sensor can reduce your engine's efficiency by up to 25% and increase fuel consumption by 20%? This small but critical component is your engine's air traffic controller, ensuring the perfect air fuel mixture for peak performance. When your MAF sensor fails, your car transforms from a smooth riding machine into a coughing, gas guzzling, and unpredictable mess that'll leave you stranded, or worse, with a four-figure repair bill. Today, we look at the 13 warning signs and symptoms of a bad mass airflow sensor. But first, let's break it down real quick. What is the mass airflow sensor? The mass airflow sensor, commonly known as the MAF sensor, is a small electronic device that may look like a small plastic box or a cylindrical insert with a wiring harness connected to it. It contains sensitive internal elements, like a sensing wire or film, and is usually protected by a plastic or metal mesh. Most modern vehicles use a digital or hot wire design, which is compact and highly responsive. Where is it located and what does it do? The MAF sensor is mounted between the air filter box and the throttle body in the intake hose. It precisely measures the volume and density of air entering the engine in real time. This data is sent to the engine control unit, ECU, which uses it to calculate the perfect fuel injection amount for efficient combustion. So, how do you know if your car's problem is due to a bad mass airflow sensor? Let's break it down. One. No start or hard start. During engine startup, the ECU relies heavily on data from the MAF sensor to determine the volume and density of incoming air to create a combustible air fuel mixture. If the MAF sensor provides inaccurate data, the ECU may miscalculate the fuel injection. This miscalculation can lead to an overly rich or overly lean mixture. In a lean condition, it underreports airflow. The engine gets too little fuel causing weak combustion and hard starting. In a rich condition, it overreports airflow, the engine gets flooded with fuel, drowning the spark plugs and preventing ignition, resulting in cranking but no start. Two, rough idling. At idle, your engine needs precise control over fuel delivery to run smoothly. When the MAF sensor starts to malfunction, it can't accurately measure the small amount of air coming in while the car is stationary. Because there's so little airflow at idle, even slight errors in the sensor's readings can throw off the air-fuel mixture. That causes unstable combustion, and the engine struggles to maintain a steady RPM. The result? Shaking, surging, or feeling like it might stall. That's what we call rough idling. 3. Engine misfiring a misfire occurs when one or more cylinders in the engine fail to complete the combustion process properly. For combustion to occur reliably, the air-fuel ratio must be balanced and timed perfectly. A failing MAF sensor sends incorrect airflow data to the engine's computer, which throws off the air-to-fuel ratio. When the mixture is too lean or too rich, the fuel may not ignite properly in the combustion chamber causing an engine misfire. Misfires can feel like hesitation, jerking, or a sudden loss of power while driving. Four, weak or poor. Acceleration, your engine demands a surge of power during acceleration. To meet that demand, the throttle body opens, allowing more air to enter the intake system. The MAF sensor detects this increase in airflow and instantly sends that information to the ECU if the MAF sensor is faulty, it sends lower than actual values to the ECU. The ECU thinks less air is entering the engine than actually is, so it reduces fuel injection to avoid running too rich, leading to poor acceleration. Before we reveal these critical symptoms, smash that like button right now. Every subscription helps you dodge expensive repairs and keep your ride running smoothly. Your car needs you to see this next part, so don't skip ahead. Five, check engine light. Your car's computer constantly monitors the MAF sensor's readings. When the data is illogical, like reporting zero airflow at high RPMs or erratic voltage swings, the ECU immediately logs a trouble code 
and illuminates the check engine light. The common trouble codes associated with a faulty MAF sensor are P0100 to P0104. You can have the diagnosis performed at your nearest automotive service center, but investing in your own OBD2 scanner will save you money in the long run. For our recommended professional grade scanner, please see the link in the video description. 6. Poor fuel efficiency. A faulty MAF sensor sends incorrect airflow data to the ECU, causing it to miscalculate fuel delivery. If the sensor underreports air, the ECU may enrich the mixture to protect the engine, leading to excess fuel being burned, even when it's not needed. If the MAF sensor overreports airflow, the ECU injects more fuel than necessary, creating a rich mixture. This results in incomplete combustion, wasted fuel, and increased emissions. Either way, inaccurate airflow readings throw off the air-fuel ratio, directly reducing fuel efficiency. 7. Unusual Engine Noises Incorrect data from the MAF sensor can result in an imbalance in the air-fuel mixture, leading to abnormal engine noises. These sounds often present as pops, sputters, knocking, or a generally rougher, throatier tone from the engine. This happens because incorrect fuel delivery affects how combustion occurs inside the cylinders. For example, if the MAF sensor causes the engine to run lean, combustion may be delayed or incomplete. This results in a phenomenon known as pre-ignition or spark knock, where fuel ignites unevenly or at the wrong time, producing metallic pinging or rattling noises. 8. Black Smoke from Exhaust When a bad MAF sensor lies about airflow, your engine pays the price. The computer gets tricked into dumping extra fuel, but there's not enough oxygen to burn it all properly. With too much fuel and not enough oxygen, combustion becomes incomplete. The unburned fuel exits through the exhaust system in the form of black smoke. 9. Engine Stalling Engine stalling occurs when the combustion process becomes unstable, causing the engine to shut off at idle or low speed. This usually happens because the throttle position sensor sends incorrect airflow data. Without accurate input, the car's computer miscalculates the fuel needed to keep the engine running, leading to sputtering and shutdown. 10. Erratic Transmission Shifting Your car's ECU and TCM rely on MAF sensor data to optimize shifts. A faulty MAF sends incorrect airflow readings, tricking the ECU into misjudging engine load. This forces the TCM to make poor shift decisions, resulting in delayed, rough, or erratic gear changes. 11. Reduced engine power, your engine's poor performance can stem from a variety of hidden issues, and a faulty MAF sensor is often one of them. When the MAF starts to fail, combustion becomes less efficient, leading to a noticeable drop in power, especially during acceleration or under load. You might also notice symptoms like sputtering, hesitation, and sluggish throttle response. 12. Hesitation or surging a bad MAF sensor causes hesitation and surging because it sends wrong airflow data to your engine's computer. This makes the fuel mixture swing wildly between too lean and too rich. Even with steady throttle, your car stumbles when it's starved for fuel, then lurches forward when flooded. 13. Failed Emission Test A failing MAF sensor often causes cars to fail emissions tests because it makes your engine run too rich, spiking harmful hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide emissions, or too lean, increasing dangerous nitrogen oxides. Both scenarios push pollution levels past legal limits, turning a simple smog check into an expensive headache. How to diagnose a bad MAF sensor The first way to diagnose a faulty bad MAF sensor is by using the OBD scanner. 1. OBD2 Scanner Test Step 1. Connect an OBD2 scanner and check for codes related to the MAF sensor, such as P0100-P0104 or fuel trim codes like P0171, System 2 Lean. Step 2. Start the engine and let it idle. With the engine idling, check the MAF reading in the Live Data or Data Stream section of the OBD scanner. A healthy sensor should read somewhere between 2 to 7 grams per second, depending on your engine size. 
Step 3. Gently rev the engine while watching the MAF readings. They should rise quickly and smoothly as RPMs increase. If the numbers jump erratically, stay flat, or lag behind, the sensor could be failing. Pull test or unplug test. Step 1. Start your car and let it idle until it reaches normal operating temperature, normally about 5 to 10 minutes. Step 2. Open the hood and locate the MAF sensor. It's usually located between the air filter box and the throttle body. Then, identify the electrical connector on the sensor. Step 3. Carefully unplug the MAF sensor's electrical connector while the engine is still running. If the engine runs smoother or the idle improves, the MAF sensor is bad. It might have been causing problems. If the engine stalls or runs worse, the MAF is likely fine. If no change occurs, there could be a possible wiring issue or other problem. 3. Tap test. While the engine is idling, lightly tap the MAF sensor housing with a screwdriver handle. If the engine stumbles, hesitates, or stalls, the sensor likely has internal electrical faults or loose connections and should be replaced. How to clean. The mass airflow sensor, cleaning the MAF can often solve performance issues without needing a full replacement. It's best to clean the MAF sensor after six months or when changing the oil. Here's how to do it safely and correctly. Step one, find the MAF sensor in the air intake tubing. Disconnect the electrical connector, then remove the sensor by loosening the clamps or screws holding it in place. Be careful not to touch delicate wires or film inside. Step two, Using a dedicated MAF sensor cleaner spray, like the GoMount Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner, hold the sensor upright and spray the wire or sensing element thoroughly for about 10 to 15 bursts. To make it easier for you, I have included a link to this product in the description below. Step 3. Set the sensor down in a clean, dry place and let it air dry for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Do not wipe or blow on it because the internal elements are delicate. Step 4. Once it's completely dry, reinstall the MAF sensor, reconnect the wiring harness, and tighten everything back into place. How much does it cost to replace MAF sensor? The cost to replace a MAF sensor can vary based on your vehicle's make and model, as well as regional labor rates. On average, the total replacement cost ranges between $240 and $550. The parts range from $170 to $320 and the labor cost between $50 to $150. So there you have it. 13 clear signs of a bad MAF sensor, how it works, and how to diagnose it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up Subscribe for more auto care tips and drop a comment if you've dealt with MAF issues before.